Hey YouTube, it is the next day and I'm taking out my Bantu knots. Um, if you haven't seen the video, I did the Bantu knots last night and there's a separate video on that. So this is the day after the 4th of July, July 5th. So I have on my sleep cap, and which I slept in all night. And I'm going to take that off and reveal my Bantu knots. So I'm hoping that they came out right. I twisted them and then bantu knotted them as you can see and so I'm just removing you know what let me take them all out first take all the pins out and then take the twists out at one time and I'm going out again guys it's summertime so I'm just so happy that I've been getting a chance to enjoy this weather because I live in New York City and you know we got my shima oil, oil and my jamaican black castor oil mix that i made and i'm gonna put that through my scalp this is my jamaican black castor oil which i love 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 and can't live without i just dab a little bit through my scalp every single day i think there's a right here okay so then let me now take the shima oil and then i'm gonna put it through the strands of my hair I love using Shima oil when my hair is blow dry and I don't know it just works well with my blow dry hair it's a light oil the fragrance is not overbearing and it's just perfect so I'm gonna take these out and see I hope they came out good and I don't know how I'm gonna style my hair today these bantu knots came out nice I could probably wear my hair loose which I haven't done in quite a while I did notice a little bit of breakage in the crown area it's this section exactly like right here like if you can see this part is kind of thin so it's literally this patch although you see the length but the ends here are thin so I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to just cut off all of this because that's not gonna make sense to just have a patch like right here so I'm just going to have to let it grow out, but this is just about all the damage that I have in my hair. And it's probably from parting my hair in the same place. So yeah guys, it's a journey, you get setbacks, you know, there's nothing you can really do about that. Who has a perfect head of hair? I don't think no one does. So, yeah. If I separate it, it's going to get too frizzy. So I'm going to leave it. Yeah, you see how that got like a little frizzy when I tried to separate it? I don't think I'm going to separate it. Just fluff out the roots maybe. Just do like this to get it like fluffy. Let it go into a fluffy fro. And I'm going to take this hair sock, scrunch it up. Put it over. Oh, hold up. Oh, and just do like this, right? Now this is a long one, so I gotta kind of find a way to make it go in half. So I don't want all my hair covered. And then just push it back. See, like that. And then just wear my hair out like this. I think I'm just gonna like place pins so it could sit the way I need it to sit and not look all crazy. Okay, YouTube. So what I ended up doing was just pulling my hair sock back a little more to get it to lay down, and then just have it like push to the back type of look. Which is why, guys, I love my hair sock. I'm trying to tell you, and I'm not telling you just because I sell them, but they are awesome. Fix it up, fix it up like that. Fluff it up, shake it up. <laughs> and that's really it, guys. This is it, my curly fro, bantu nut out fro, whatever you wanna call it. And it'll probably get bigger throughout the day, but I am so loving it. Got on my nice little sundress, and I'm out. All right, guys, enjoy. I hope you like this video. Also, check out my um, online shop, Etsy.com slash shop slash charisma for you. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.
Ne quittez pas ta réalité contre la fatalité. Loser un jour, loser toujours. Oubliez la dragouille, t'es blague, laisse tomber la frime. Et tes jeux de mime retournent, j'ai dit à merde.